guys, what's up? It's Haley here, and today I'm going to be doing a what I eat in a day video. I've done these a million times before, so you already know the drill, so we're just going to go ahead and get started with breakfast. So for breakfast, first, I am starting out with some coffee. This is not actually from Starbucks. I just have that, like, reusable cup. Um, so it's just, like, normal, regular coffee. We do it under the rich brew, so it's a little bit stronger. Um, we ice it for a little bit in the freezer. And then I just added... This creamer by Starbucks, it's the white chocolate mocha creamer. A little bit of this, a little bit goes a long way. It's very like thick and strong. And then I added a little bit of this almond and coconut milk just to kind of smooth it out a little bit. And then I added a generous amount of cinnamon ground. So sometimes I'll make like a cinnamon latte and sometimes I'll just put a little bit of cinnamon in here this time i just like put it in here but sometimes i will like sh uh froth it into the milk and creamer and that's really good too but wasn't feeling like doing all that today so that is what i'm having for coffee now on to what i'm gonna have for breakfast so it is a little bit later i slept in today i was up all night watching love is blind because i'm hooked on it now so i slept in today but anyways, I'm gonna make toast. To start out with, and I use the Dave's Killer Bread, the 21 whole grains and seeds. This is the best, it's so good. So I'm gonna do a piece of that. Get that going. And I'm also gonna make eggs and turkey bacon. Pam olive oil spray. So I just have to like coat olive oil on the pans. But I just do it with a paper towel. These are non-stick, but I just do this to be sure that it's all good. I just have the Oscar Mayer turkey bacon right here. And we do brown eggs. All right, so one egg, I'm going to add a little bit of pepper, and salt. All right, so I make five pieces, two for me, two for Brad, and one for the dog. Okay, toast is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some avocado to it while this finishes up. So I'm gonna just gonna use this half of the avocado. And then I'm just gonna add a little olive oil just to make it more blendable. Okay, so it's kind of late, it's like four, but I'm a little bit hungry, so I'm just gonna make like a small lunch. I'm just gonna do like a few veggie nuggets and an apple. So the veggie nuggets that we use are the Morningstar Farms Buffalo Wings. Um, they're really good. I honestly love like them in the microwave. I think they're better than like that than in the oven. That's like a really weird take, but I like do that for pizza rolls and stuff too. I think it's better. A little soggy. This one's already open, so I'm gonna use this one. And I just did whatever was left in the bag, so like seven of them. And I'll do two minutes, 30 seconds. And while that cooks, I'm just gonna cut my apple up real quick. gonna have my nuggets and an apple and that's it hey guys okay so it's about seven o'clock and I'm about to start dinner we just went on like a super long walk so we're starving 
So we're just gonna make spaghetti really quick. We usually would put like hamburger in it and stuff, but I didn't set any meat out to thaw. So we're just gonna do it like with no meat, with just some sauce. And I always use the thin spaghetti. I just think that one tastes the best. So yeah, I'm gonna add a few spices to it, but it's gonna be pretty simple. Not much to it here. So add a little salt to the water. This is just the Prego traditional sauce. And I'm just gonna pour like that much, like half. It honestly tastes pretty good how it is, but I'm just gonna add a little salt and pepper to it. Some garlic powder. And that's it, I'm just gonna keep it super simple. And we will just stir her up. Usually when I would make spaghetti, I would do like, um, like I said, the ground beef, we usually put that in there. And then I would usually put in um, like fresh garlic, pesto, salt, pepper, thyme, and oregano. But Brad doesn't like thyme and oregano. He thinks it tastes like the earth is what he says. And we don't have any pesto. So I'm just doing like a super basic version. Okay, water is boiling. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the noodles. I like never know how many noodles to put in, so I always just like put in a bunch. Do like two handfuls. And we will let this cook. I mean, obviously it's spaghetti. It's not that hard. You guys know how to make spaghetti, but I'm just showing you what I eat in a day. Parmesan cheese, just a little. I don't like that much. Brad will use the entire bottle. All right, guys, so that is gonna be it for this video. Not that exciting a day of eating, I know, but it's reality. It's what I truly would eat in a day and what I did eat today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave today. Button's right there. Go ahead and press it, and I will see you in my next one, guys. Bye. Just kidding, it's gonna be really hot. Bye.